Neptown Tuner here with a quick follow-up video on my personal Q5. Yesterday I made a video for fun, a fictional video, about someone that doesn't have enough money to fix a belt squeal. Well, I'll talk a little bit more about that. The reason for this video is because I was actually going to diagnose it and do an in-depth belt squeal type video today. Well, I can only brush on it today because guess what? The noise completely evaporated. It went completely away. What do I think it was? I think it was the tensioner pulley or the idler pulley. Both of these are the most common failures for a type of bearing racy type noise. Because then you have like, for instance, your AC compressor, which has like a clutch that can click on and off. You have a clutch on your alternator, but uh, that's for another video. I'll get into that more. Uh, you have a crank pulley and that's, I mean, unless it's loose or something, like I say, I can't get too deep into different subjects here, but basically the belt noise, belt noise that I was hearing is no longer there. So the quick way to diagnose that would be, like I said in that video, you're gonna run the engine, you're gonna listen to it. You could have a little stethoscope or whatever and poke around or a long screwdriver, put it to your ear or something like that. Uh, if you're too lazy to take the belt off, but. The first thing I do is operate the AC on and off, and I see if that makes any change. I rev the engine, I see if that makes any change. Uh, I don't ever spray anything on the belt or anything like that, but if I'm doing anything with the belts, like for instance, if it's the tensioner pulley, it's getting the whole tensioner with the pulley. You're gonna have a dealership mentality. You're not gonna charge a customer something and replace just the pulley for the tensioner, and then the spring tensioner part fails, and then their belt flies off, and then you're at fault now because you were the one that last touched that system. So you, you, unless they're just really strapped for cash, you need to explain to them, if I don't replace this whole tensioner assembly with the, with the pulley and the spring loaded, let me just show you. It's down there, okay, you saw it. If you don't replace that whole assembly, it could come to bite you in the rear. Now there's another one called the idler pulley and all it is is just a fixed pulley with a bearing in it. If you're replacing the, the tensioner, go ahead and replace the idler as well. That same concept applies. You're not, now that doesn't mean you need to replace the alternator and the AC compressor and you, need, you don't need to go overboard, but if you're doing something with like idler tensioner, it just gets the whole kit, if you will. And like I said, if the customer's strapped, then you can explain to them, well, really, this is the only thing that I see failing right now. But everything has the same mileage on it. It's very, it's very likely that other things are gonna fail that have the same amount of wear on them in the same region. And you can explain that it's not trying to upsell or doing more labor, but it's a, a responsible way that you would repair your own car. Okay, moving on. How I would do this is I would then take the belt off and I would rotate all the pulleys and see if I hear any noise, any bearing noise. And I would also feel everything to make sure everything feels smooth. All right, we'll get into an in-depth belt diagnosis video, hopefully whenever this thing actually makes noise again.